Good morning, graduates. On behalf of all the faculty, advisors, and staff members in Northeastern's College of Professional Studies, I'm here to congratulate you on completing your work towards your doctoral degree. If this were an ordinary commencement week in May, you might be coming out of Matthews Arena on the Boston campus right now, wearing your cap and gown and lining up with your family and friends to take photos in front of Crenswin Quad. For some of you, this would have been the very first time you set foot on the Boston campus of Northeastern. For others of you, it would be a reunion with classmates you worked and studied alongside for many months. For all of you, and for all of us in the College of Professional Studies, it would have been a day of immense joy and fulfillment. For now, some of that joy has been deferred by the COVID-19 emergency. All the happy rituals of putting in commencement still lie ahead of us whenever we're able to return to campus. But we can't let this day pass without taking time to honor your accomplishments and hear your voices. We begin with Professor Kim Larson, Director of the Doctor of Law and Policy Program, who will recognize this year's winner of the Dean's Medal. Thank you, Dean Leffelholtz. I'm Kimberly Larson, the Faculty Director for the Doctor of Law and Policy Program. It's my great pleasure to present this year's Dean's Medal for Outstanding Doctoral Work. This is the highest academic honor awarded by the college. It honors exceptional academic achievement and recognizes the author's innovation and creativity, as well as the importance of the doctoral work within the student's field and the caliber of the writing. It's my great pleasure to announce that the winner of this year's Dean's Medal is Brent Musson, a 2019 graduate of the Doctor of Law and Policy program. Dr. Musson's thesis entitled LA Multifamily Housing Obstacles to Adoption of Offsite Construction as a Method of Increasing Production was the first to examine the housing crisis as an economic market failure and explore offsite construction as a possible solution and examining the barriers to its adoption. Dr. Ivan Rupnik, Dr. Musson's thesis advisor, said, Dr. Musson is someone who epitomizes the greatest potential of Northeastern University the College of Professional Studies and the Doctor of Law and Policy program. He brings real world experience to problems and leaves the program with a new set of skills that he will in turn directly apply to the betterment of those who need it most, the most impoverished members of society. On a more personal note, I've had the pleasure of getting to know Dr. Musson during his time in the program, and I've come to know him as someone who embodies the values of the college as well as those of the DLP program. He's conducted truly interdisciplinary work and utilized the knowledge he's gained through the DLP program to solve real world problems with a social justice focus. Congratulations, Dr. Musson. Hello everyone, this is Adam Thomas, the director of the Transitional Doctor of Physical Therapy program. I wanted to say congratulations to all the Transitional Doctor of Physical Therapy students for 2020. So happy for you guys. I wish we could be here in person and do this together right now, but I wish you guys well with the rest of your careers and I look forward to working with you in the future. I'm happy to call you my peers and I'm happy to call you a doctor of physical therapy. I'm Sarah Yule, director of the Doctor of Education program. It is my great honor to congratulate you as the newest doctors of the Graduate School of Education. We take tremendous pride in all you have accomplished, but this is no time for complacency. Our world has never faced greater challenges. We need your leadership to create a better future for a more just and compassionate world. We look forward to all you will contribute. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Dr. Rashid Mosley, faculty lead for the Organizational Leadership Studies concentration within the EDD program. On behalf of the faculty and students in OLS, we would like to say congratulations on the completion of your doctoral program and wish you well in your future endeavors. Good afternoon, graduates and new Husky alumni. I'm Dr. Sherry Childers McKee from the Graduate School of Education. I want to congratulate you on this momentous event. I challenge you to become trailblazers in these unprecedented times. Use this time to navigate your pathway to success. Our world needs you more than ever. Your time to shine is now. Go Huskies. Honestly, I wish that we were together. I wish we were at Matthews Arena. I wish I was putting the hood on you, um, but I'm not. So I want to wish you each um, Congratulations, it's a major, major accomplishment. You should feel really pumped. Congratulations.
Theodora Margarita Abdul Rahim, Doctor of Education, lived experiences of non-resident fathers' engagement with their children. Brian James Ackerman, Doctor of Education, The Financial Path Forward, an interpretive phenomenological experience of how elected leaders experience disparities in per-pupil expenditures within school districts. Amanda Emily Aldred, Doctor of Education, Technology Usage in the Elementary Classroom, a case study of teacher professional development and intentions for learning. Felicia L. Alexander, Doctor of Education, Include cultural teacher experience with culturally responsive teaching practices when working with African-American students in special education. Martha Bedell Alexander, Doctor of Education, The Influence of Religious Beliefs on State Legislators' Voting Behavior. Focus, Education Lottery. Neil Charles Oliva, Doctor of Education, Cyberbullying and Gender, a qualitative study of how middle school girls experience cyberbullying. Andrea Imador, Doctor of Education, Expanding Practice, Understanding Barriers to the Adoption of the National Association of School Psychologists Model for Comprehensive and Integrated School Psychological Services. Shamara Jewel Arkey, Doctor of Education, a critical discourse analysis of the Stop the Hate Youth Speak Out essay contest. Alicia Ashman Ramsey, Doctor of Education, Developing Positive Teacher-Student Relationships Through Culturally Relevant Pedagogy. Edna Michelle Atias, Doctor of Education, The Intersection Between Social-Emotional Teacher Beliefs and Constructivist Pedagogical Decision-Making. Jason Paul Bobbin, Doctor of Education, An Exploration of the Perceptions and Experiences of Veterans Transitioning to Higher Education. Suzanne Elaine Baker, Doctor of Education, Returning Home, Making Meaning of Study Abroad Experience to Facilitate Transformative Learning. Christine Ann Baldwin, Doctor of Education, Exploring How Online High School Instructors Foster Critical Thinking Within Ninth Grade Students Through Discussion-Based Learning Forums. Ryan Jared Ballard, Doctor of Education, Shades of Blue, An Interpretive Phenomenological Analysis of the Perceptions of Non-White Police Instructors Regarding Highly Publicized Uses of Force by Law Enforcement. Daniel Adam Barber, Doctor of Education, How to Make It Matter, Teacher Professional Development. Caitlin Barker, Doctor of Education, Teaching Core Skills, a case study of value teaching at a junior boarding school. Melanie C. Barrington, Doctor of Education, How Do Women Know What They Know? An interpretive phenomenological analysis research study on how women know what they know. Michael James Bean, Doctor of Education, Student Development and Online Students. Luke Anthony Becker, Doctor of Education, The Right Stuff. An interpretive phenomenological analysis of NASA's safety and mission assurance leaders making sense of their professional identity. Jennifer Europa Benitez, Doctor of Education, Understanding Teacher Self-Efficacy and Its Influence on Teacher Effectiveness. An interpretive phenomenological analysis. Sean Christian Best, Doctor of Education, A Narrative Study Exploring Black Male College Presidents' Career Journeys. Vanessa Smith Bester, Doctor of Education, African American PA Student Success. Deepa R. Bala, Doctor of Education, a case study of undergraduate international students' experiences in a service learning course and the impact on their academic transition. Juliet M. Bianco, Doctor of Education, Campus Museums as Partners for Change in Higher Education. Brantley Barksdale Blair, Doctor of Education, Separate from Everybody Else. Interpreting the Lived Experiences of Post-9-11 Veterans at a Senior Military College. Althena Knessa Blake, Doctor of Education. The Impact of Positive Pathways on the Efficacy Beliefs and Performance of Campus Coaches. Aaron C. Blett, Doctor of Education, Understanding Teacher Experiences Regarding Referrals of Black and Brown Students to Special Education. Tavira Boatwright, Doctor of Education. The Impact of the College Tour Element embedded in a high-quality after-school program. Yelena Bonder, Doctor of Education. Making Sense of Single-Parent Student Attainment of Associate Degrees. Jolyn R. Brand, Doctor of Education. An Interpretive Phenomenological Analysis of First-Generation Student Experiences in Living Learning Communities at Large Public University. Tucker Jackson Branham, Doctor of Education. 
higher education disruption, an intrinsic case study examining the change response of multiple constituencies to a mandated change at a small, private liberal arts college. Maddie Bernard Breland, Doctor of Education, making sense of librarian-led information literacy instruction. Mary Broding, Doctor of Education, understanding the experiences of women student veterans during their transition process from the military into higher education, identity, belonging, and voice in writing courses and writing assignments in other disciplines. Joshua Martin Bromley, Doctor of Education, the effects of standards-based grading in a secondary mathematics classroom. Jonathan Richard Bruno, Doctor of Education, teachers' attitudes and perceptions of students with disabilities. Sarah Ann Buckley, Doctor of Education, understanding the literacy experiences of ninth grade students at an urban high school. Bonnie Dudd, Doctor of Education, Motivation by Design, an interpretive phenomenological analysis of the adult student experience in an online course. Cheryl Ann Deanna Butts, Doctor of Education, an examination of the lived experiences of a paraprofessional staff and employee motivation at East Elementary, an interpretive phenomenological analysis. Viviana de la Caridad Bird, Doctor of Education, Leadership Practice and Organizational Culture in the U.S. Military, a qualitative study investigating the perception of preferred leadership styles and organizational culture in the U.S. military. Elizabeth Ann Cacavella, Doctor of Education, Mathematics Teacher Perceptions of Conceptually Based Teaching After Participation in Hackathon-Style Professional Development. Karen A. Caruso, Doctor of Education, How Diversity is Viewed in Homogeneous Communities and What Impact This Has on Decision-Making Related to Curriculum. Josephine Y. E. Chan, Doctor of Education, a narrative inquiry exploring Hong Kong millennials' student perspective on parental involvement in their academic trajectories. Asha Lauren Chana, Doctor of Education, Latinx English language experiences in a social emotional learning and culturally relevant co design course. Bayi Rebecca Choi, Doctor of Education, improving student access and utilization of mental health services on a university campus. Patrick Francis Colabucci, Doctor of Education, Intensive English Program Leader's Understanding of the Study Abroad Experience. Deneen Carol Collins, Doctor of Education, Persisting in a World of Racial Inequality, Social Injustices, and Religion. Journey into the Lived Experiences of Students of Color at a PWI, Private, Midwest, Christian Liberal Arts University, and how they persisted to graduation against all odds. Kellyanne Connors, Doctor of Education, Understanding the Impacts of Unionization on the Working Conditions of Adjunct Faculty, a Case Study. Tina Marie Surio Coolidge, Doctor of Education, The Part-Time Ed D. Student Experience, a Narrative Analysis of Transferring What is Learned in Coursework to Professional Practice. David Michael Creed, Doctor of Law and Policy, a Theory of Relativity, Comparing DCMA Contract Management Offices Using Common Key Performance Indicators. Mark Crosby, Doctor of Law and Policy, a qualitative case study of small Northeastern Liberal Arts College hiring practices and policies. Jeremy Michael Cross, Doctor of Education, Universal Design for Learning, Teacher and Administrator Perspectives in Elementary Education. Jennifer Lynn Crotty, Doctor of Education, Bystander Intervention Intention in Cases of Possible Sexual Assault. Carlin Lyndon Danner, Doctor of Education, how teachers experience self-advocacy enacted by students with disabilities. Cynthia A. Davis Van Lu, Doctor of Education, Underrepresentation of Teachers of Color in K-12 Classrooms, Perceiving and Navigating Racism. Kenneth Scott Derrick, Doctor of Education, Becoming the Boss, Using Schlossberg's Transition Theory to Explore New Supervisors' Transition to Supervisory Roles at a Federal Government Agency. Rosanna Shadell Devion Bivens, Doctor of Education, Journeys of African American Professional Women, an IPA study exploring the experiences of professionals making sense of their identity as they navigate a community college system. Jonathan Michael Doblix, Doctor of Education, English language learners and their perception of school climate and cultures, viewpoints of students, parents, teachers, and principals. Mary Beth Lynn Donlan, Doctor of Education, 
an interpretive phenomenological analysis of family school partnerships in an urban district. Susan Donnellan, Doctor of Education. The impact of pre-service preparation curriculum. Are novice early childhood educators prepared as classroom managers? Elizabeth Stephanie Doris, Doctor of Law and Policy. Changing Roles of American Cities. The Case of Electricity and Transportation Infrastructure. Allison Kiss Doherty, Doctor of Education. From Reactive to Proactive, a descriptive case study of organizational change to institutionalize a campus sexual assault response team, or SART, at a large Mid-Atlantic State University. Jennifer Aaron Doherty, Doctor of Education. Employee Choice to Voice, an IPA study exploring employees' lived experiences with their supervisors. Jillian Kate Dunn, Doctor of Education. Complete or Compete, Understanding and Utilizing Student-Athletes' Motivation to Graduate from College. Suzanne Rebecca Dunn, Doctor of Education. Self-Determination and Its Relationship to Intrinsic Motivation in Novice Middle School Teachers. James Tyler Eaton, Doctor of Education. Social Identity and Shared Governance. The Relationship Between Social Categorization, Group Identity, and Faculty Participation in Institutional Decision Making. Michelle Elise Eckler, Doctor of Education. The Qualities of Effective Teachers in Secondary Schools in an Urban Connecticut Town. To Craig Durkeith Edwards, Doctor of Education. Educational Identity Development of Low-Income First-Generation College Students. A Narrative Research Study from the Social Identity Perspective. Andrew Michael Yoshihiko Inamoto, Doctor of Education. How Transformational Leadership Can Be Used in Japanese University Classrooms to Increase Authentic Learning, Student Motivation, and Positive Learning Outcomes. Ella Epstein, Doctor of Education. From Policy to Compliance, U.S. Higher Education Faculty Concerns Over Institutional Digital Content Accessibility Policies. Anna Louise Tatian, Doctor of Education, Curating Innovation in Entrepreneur Centers. An IPA study exploring the entrepreneurial learning experiences of center directors across different types of post-secondary institutions. Rebecca Garland Uri, Doctor of Education, Pursuit of Deep Learning and Adaptive Expertise, Not Just a Hunt for Grades. David Jamin Fagan, Doctor of Education, Low Graduation Rates at For-Profit Colleges, A Cursory Look at Causes and Possible Solutions. Robin Beth Feintich, Doctor of Education, Understanding how under-engaged Jewish teens self-articulate and self-express Jewish identity and Jewish identification. Rufus Jackson Falk, Doctor of Law and Policy. The lived experiences of parents in the Roxbury neighborhood in seeking secondary school opportunities for their children. Corinne Marie Ferdella, Doctor of Education. The role of a restorative justice advisory model in building strong student-teacher relationships and ensuring a positive entry into high school. Zachary Adam Fine, Doctor of Education, examining second-year college student self-efficacy regarding study skills, a qualitative study. Maureen Fitzgerald, Doctor of Education, perception of student nurses' progress towards practice readiness in a revised baccalaureate nursing program. Pamela Marie Forrester, Doctor of Education, Teacher's Perspective and Understanding of Social-Emotional Learning in an Early Suburban Public School. Allison Cameron Francis, Doctor of Education, Exploring Parental Attitudes and Behaviors Towards Involvement in STEM Education, Supporting Learning Across Settings. Marissa Lorraine Garza, Doctor of Education, Understanding Leadership Barriers, Support, and Experiences for Women in Higher Education Administration. Doreen Ann Gendro, Doctor of Education, Following Doctor's Orders, Understanding the Phenomenon of Gender-Based Harassment in Acute Care Hospitals as Experienced by Female Nurses. Sandra Saunders-Gillens, Doctor of Education, Unsilenced Voices, A Narrative Study of Parental Engagement Practices for Black Parents of Sons Being Served under IDEA 2004. Michael John Gerlando, Doctor of Education, Response to Intervention, a qualitative case study at an urban elementary school in New Mexico. Stephen Lester Golden, Doctor of Education. The parental decision-making process regarding the exposure of an infant to a smartphone for the first time. Daniel Joseph Gonzalez, Doctor of Education. 
institutional norms that maintain early educators' credentialing requirements in Massachusetts. A case study. Joseph Gordon, Doctor of Law and Policy. The lived experience of the deaf and hard of hearing community in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, with emergency preparedness and response planning. A narrative inquiry study. Sarah Forbes Grant, Doctor of Education. The teacher experience in literacy instruction. Molly Gold Greenland, Doctor of Education. Virtual Human Resource Development in the United States Navy. A qualitative study of how Navy service members advance their professional knowledge through informal learning using Navy-related social media tools. Karen Griffin, Doctor of Education. High-achieving women negotiating leadership roles in academic medicine. Christopher C. Jinta, Doctor of Education. Transformational leadership, school climate and teacher morale in a secondary school setting. Sean Lee Hammer, Doctor of Education. From a military career to a civilian career, an interpretative phenomenological analysis of how veterans who served in a post-9-11 war describe their career transition. Laura Sprague Howe, Doctor of Education. Effects of experiential learning toward preparing for college and career. Jesse Haston, Doctor of Law and Policy. Measuring Meaningful Community Inclusion. A multiple case study of developmental disability service providers in Massachusetts. Cheryl Marie Hebert, Doctor of Education. Accelerated Reader and High School Students Reading Self-Efficacy, a case study. Rachel L. Helfrich, Doctor of Education. Implementing Culturally Responsive Pedagogy. Urban Teacher's Journey of Understanding and Interpretive Phenomenological Analysis. Amanda Jean Hersey, Doctor of Education. Training K-8 Math Coaches and Principals Together, a descriptive case study of a university math coaching program. Elizabeth Hollis Hines Farrick, Doctor of Law and Policy, Immigrants from CARICOM Countries, a narrative inquiry exploring the lived experiences of Massachusetts residents accessing state support services. Melvin Alfred Holland, Doctor of Education, Youth Mentoring Through Other Fathering, a case study exploring African-American males' mentor-mentee relationship experiences with African-American men acting as other fathers in an urban community-based mentoring session. Patricia Pamela Holt, Doctor of Education. Remedial math instruction using adaptive learning technologies, better suited for traditional, non-traditional, or both types of learners. Marcia Hospodalis, Doctor of Education. Applying the Achieving the Dream Model, an IPA study exploring the lived experiences of leadership coaches. Danielle Hughes, Doctor of Education. Entrepreneurial Opportunity Alertness in Small Business. A narrative research study exploring established small business founders experience with opportunity alertness in evolving economic landscape in the Southeast United States. Megan Irene Hutchinson, Doctor of Education. Metacognition in Writing Instruction. How Educators Perceive Strategy Support for Students with Language-Based Learning Disabilities. Tracy E. Hutton, Doctor of Law and Policy. Disproportionate Effects of Massachusetts Mandates on Municipal Budgets, a Quantitative Study. Giovanna Irizarry, Doctor of Education. Teachers' Perspectives and Play-Based Learning in Kindergarten Classrooms. Aisha Jackson, Doctor of Education. Exploring the lived experiences and perceptions of healthcare counselors about diverse enrollment in healthcare programs provided through the Affordable Care Act. Matthew James Jacobs, Doctor of Education a case study on the effect of small learning communities school setting on student achievement in an urban comprehensive high school. Suzette T. Julian, Doctor of Education, a narrative study exploring how women of color leaders meaning making shape their professional and personal experiences in K-12 international schools. Christina S. Karuna Rutner, Doctor of Law and Policy, the implementation of maternity leave policies in life science companies in Massachusetts an exploratory case study. Megan Jean Kasala Hollinen, Doctor of Education, School-Wide Positive Behavior Intervention and Supports in a K-5 Alternative Education Program. Michelle Lee Kearns, Doctor of Education, How Female Students Attending College Within a Predominantly Patriarchal Society Succeed, an Interpretive Phenomenological Analysis. Nora Kerr McCurry, Doctor of Education, The Union Makes Us Strong, Technology Implementation in a Collective Bargaining Culture. Ilana D. Key, 
Doctor of Education. Understanding the lived experiences of faculty that integrate instructional technologies into their teaching and interpretive phenomenological analysis. Deborah J. Klesensky Rispoli, Doctor of Education. Examining conflict in the faculty administrator relationship through a cultural theory lens. Amy Klein, Doctor of Education. Faculty Motivation in Academic Program Assessment, an instrumental case study on the impact of an inquiry-based process. Loxy Anthony Nibbs, Doctor of Education, Characteristics, Attributes, and Qualifications Public Institutions of Higher Education Seek in Presidential Candidates. Amy S. Korn, Doctor of Education, Supporting High School Math and Science Teachers with Universal Design for Learning Implementation. Jen Casas, Doctor of Education, a case study analysis of resources and support that encourage enrollment of low-income, first-generation African-American college students. Randall Stephen Cravet, Doctor of Education. Music Abilities, Narratives of Employee Engagement Through Music Learning. Dilip Dasadeo Kukarni, Doctor of Education. Community Engagement, Missing Link in Peace and Conflict Studies. Christiana Alves Kaneska, Doctor of Education. Female Indian graduate students in STEM, their perceptions of adjustment to the U.S. Marianne Francis Lawless, Doctor of Education. Cultivating the 21st Century Workforce, a narrative research study exploring reflective practice in workplace development programs within a government-contracted American Maritime Manufacturing Trade Organization. V.J. Laxmi, Doctor of Law and Policy. The Impact of EU GDPR on Saudi Arabia's Economy, a Case Study of Tourism and Logistics Sectors. Cheryl Ann Leandro, Doctor of Education, a Case Study Examining the Activities and Experiences of Co-Teachers at Apple Valley Elementary. William Chandler Leboff, Doctor of Education, Student Government Leadership Experience in the Rearview Mirror. Marcia Ellen Herzberg Lee, Doctor of Law and Policy, Inspection, Laws, Risk Factors, and Foodborne Illness, a quantitative study on the relationship between frequency of inspection, changes in food laws, risk factors, and foodborne illness. Deborah J. Levin, Doctor of Education, Invisible Social Identity in the Workplace, Narrative Research Exploring How Experiences of Autistic Adults Influence Their Decision to Disclose. Lin Guo Chun Franco, Doctor of Education, Supporting International Business Students with Learning Spoken English, a case study of a University of Technology in Southern China. Tia Lights, Doctor of Education, the influences of black school leadership supporting positive outcomes for black students in urban school. Elena Silvia Litescu, Doctor of Education, the experiences of academic leaders in an era of transformation, an interpretive phenomenological analysis of leadership effectiveness. Kristen Karam Lazat, Doctor of Education, the implementation of a scripted literacy program by elementary school teachers, an interpretive phenomenological analysis examining influences on curricular decision-making while teaching reading. Rachel Goldfarb-Like, Doctor of Education, examining how full-time and part-time faculty make sense of their professional experiences with and relationships to each other as faculty members at the same community college. Catherine N. Lynch, Doctor of Education, Financial Aid Award Notification Design, Understanding Student Social and Cultural Capital to Improve Transparency of College Costs. William Carl Lyon, Doctor of Education, Mission Accomplished? How Faith-Based Schools Missions Inform and Influence Their Operations. Kapo Mack, Doctor of Education, Experience of Nurse Educators with High Fidelity Simulation in Nursing Education. A Narrative Inquiry. Maureen Manning, Doctor of Education, Student Perspective on High School Short-Term Study Abroad, The Impact on Intercultural Competence. Robert Paul Mason, Doctor of Education, Educational Second Chance, A Study of Successful Male College Students Who Had Formerly Not Completed High School. Deborah Morristine, Doctor of Education, The Experiences of Millennials as University Administrative Staff. Amy Beth McDowell, Doctor of Education, when Developmentally Appropriate Practices Meet Standards-Based Education. Patrick T. McKinney, Doctor of Education. Innovation in an Educational Ecosystem, a narrative research study exploring entrepreneurial educators' experiences 
changing established approaches as they adapt to evolving needs within their school districts. Cornelia Alicia Meeks, Doctor of Education. Cracking the stained glass ceiling, leadership experiences of black clergy women in the black church. Sakir Munir Mahar, Doctor of Education. Bridging the growing disjunction between legal education and legal practice in Pakistan. Parissa May Sami, Doctor of Education. Impact of online learning in success of non-traditional undergraduate students in low-level mathematics courses. Kendra Joy Millay, Doctor of Education. First-generation law students' perceptions of their undergraduate academic advising experiences and interpretive phenomenological analysis. Sharni A. Miller, Doctor of Education. A case study of a higher education IT department adopting public cloud computing. Rochelle Moore, Doctor of Education. Faculty-led student advising model, a case study on how faculty make sense of their role in the academic advising process. Takia Andabron Morales, Doctor of Education. The quest for innovation, learning systems, and innovativeness within a global staffing organization. Marie Morse, Doctor of Education, a turnaround network. Brent David Musson, Doctor of Law and Policy. LA Multifamily Housing, obstacles to the adoption of off-site construction as a method of increasing production. Adina Nadine Nichols, Doctor of Education. Adapting to the Agile Workplace, a descriptive case study on the role of the corporate MOOCs in the organizational learning processes. Catherine M. Petipa Nolan, Doctor of Education, an instrumental case study in instructional design, integrating digital multimedia in alignment with curriculum content in the online higher education course. Christine Francis Noonan, Doctor of Law and Policy, being green and in between an exploration of federal contractor whistleblowing in the national security state. Rhoda Elisa Nunez Donnelly, Doctor of Education. Teachers' transformative learning experiences in a cultural proficiency professional development program. Joyce O'Reilly, Doctor of Education. The effects of online substance use disorder education on nurses' knowledge, confidence, and attitude toward patients with substance use disorder. Adora Indidia Maka Otiji Spiesler, Doctor of Education, Cross-Generational Collaboration in the Workplace, a study of millennial generation collaboration preferences in professional relationships. Danielle Francis Willette, Doctor of Education, Understanding Elementary Teachers' Perceptions of Students of Color and Low Socioeconomic Status Students. Julie J. Padilla, Doctor of Education, At-Risk Youth and Service Learning, Understanding Student Experiences. Sharon M. Payne, Doctor of Law and Policy, Judging Justice, a case study of the safety and operational impact of reduced funding to the Connecticut judiciary and its effect on the administration of justice. Karen Gwen Pearson, Doctor of Education, Teaching Visual Art with the Brain in Mind. Marcia Janine Picot, Doctor of Education, the individual lived experiences of high school students and their association with garden-based learning activities in an urban education environment. Stephen Victor Peters, Doctor of Education. Is anybody listening? Black fathers' historical learning experiences and their impact on the development of children's learning life. Stephanie J. Petricone, Doctor of Education. Enhancing teacher foresight, a qualitative exploration into educator capacity to proactively solve students' academic challenges in the Response to Intervention, or RTI, framework. Armina Petrosian, Doctor of Education. The role of bilingualism and global education on the development of cross-cultural intelligence for students at international schools. Lula Evelyn Petty Edwards, Doctor of Education. Overcoming experiences supporting educational achievement among African-American students in the rural segregated South of the 1950s and 1960s. Jeff Pierce, Doctor of Education. Emerging Leadership Practices, a narrative research study of organizational development professionals' reflective practices in the digital era. Shannon Joseph Fairley Pittman, Doctor of Education. Understanding the motivation behind the success of first-generation college students. Taylor Hutchinson Plumley, Doctor of Education. Lessons Learned, an IPA study of administrators, instructional coaches, and teachers' experiences with one-to-one -one implementation at a Southeastern United States Urban High School. 
Matthew N. Polk, Doctor of Education, Building a Foundation for Social Innovation, a descriptive case study examining how entrepreneurial educators creatively navigate innovative music education programs for K-12 U.S. students. Michael Lee Potter, Doctor of Education, the concurrence of community colleges and universities as independent providers of baccalaureate degrees, a case study of Washington State. Lauren Catherine Pauchek, Doctor of Education, Development of Cultural Agility in High Achieving Emerging Adults, The Evaluation of Short-Term Study Abroad. Devin Ray Pratt, Doctor of Education, Understanding the Impact of Collaboration on Group Learning on an International School Teaching Team. Leslie Travers Pratt, Doctor of Education, Mindfulness Meditation Persistence Motivation, a case study at the Workplace Program. Priscilla Eileen Padromo, Doctor of Education, The Shift to Restorative Practices in One Urban Middle School, an Exploration of Implementation and Student Perception. Joseph Lee Richmond, Doctor of Law and Policy, The Relationship Between Policy and Disaster Economic Recovery, a case study of the 2011 Joplin, Missouri Tornado. Suzanne Germain Riegler, Doctor of Education, Understanding the Experience of Time at Work, an IPA study in a higher education setting. Celestia Kai Riggs, Doctor of Education, The Relationship Between School Counselors' Self-Advocacy Skills and the Implementation Level of Comprehensive School Counseling Programs. Lindsay Dick Ryder, Doctor of Education, Entrepreneurial Educators, A Narrative Study, Examining Professional Transition Experiences of educators who have experimented with the launching of an educational activity. Sarah Victoria Ritz Swain, Doctor of Education, Principles of Effective Practice, a case study of creativity in art education. Nancy Elizabeth Blinn Robbie, Doctor of Education, a narrative inquiry study in how adult learners experience teaching presence. Tamika Lynette Rodney, Doctor of Education, Intentionality in Facilitating Shifts Towards Equity an intrinsic case study of instructional leaders using culturally responsive teaching. Hannah Elizabeth Rohner, Doctor of Education, Making the Grade, One School's Experience Implementing Proficiency-Based Grading. Field Chaktuzi Diwa Rui, Doctor of Education, Demystifying African-American Entrepreneurial Gap, A Phenomenological Approach. Sharon Ann Santucci, Doctor of Education, an interpretive phenomenological analysis of young women's journey towards a STEM major, environment, interactions, relevancy. James Michael Sarazen, Doctor of Education, Building Organizational Capacity Framework Applied to Academic Spin-Off Creation. David Delmar Shaw, Doctor of Education, Meaning and Mindfulness, an IPA exploration into the meaning-making experience of student leaders after practicing mindfulness exercises. Stephanie Jean Scordia, Doctor of Education, a qualitative analysis of faculty perspectives of administrators' leadership behavior. Daniela Sabova, Doctor of Education, understanding the what and the how of developing future leaders in global organizations, an instrumental case study of a first-level leadership development program in a large global organization. Matthew Peter Shannon, Doctor of Education, Understanding how millennial teachers' sense of educational leadership exhibited by administration. Stephanie Lynn Tyrell Shane, Doctor of Education, an exploration of adjunct faculty experiences. Rebecca Lynn Simon, Doctor of Education, using a faculty community of practice to support college students with mental health needs. Jennifer Ann Slattery, Doctor of Education, Incivility and Local Governance an investigation of municipal leaders' experience of workplace incivility. Joseph Smith, Doctor of Education, Black male principals who lead in predominantly white K-12 public schools in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Darlene Annette Snyder, Doctor of Education, The Solo Journey, The Lived Experiences of First-Generation Community College Students from Immigrant Backgrounds. Beatrice Lopez Soler, Doctor of Law and Policy, Disaster Risk Reduction and Resilience Through Social Capital, a case study of the lived experience of Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria. Marling Sani, Doctor of Education, Support Structures, Perspectives of Single Mother Graduates Who Received Public Assistance While Pursuing Their Degree. Tanya Sorensen, Doctor of Education, Making It Relevant, Contextualizing a College-Level Writing Course.
Tiffany Span Casey, Doctor of Education. The Effectiveness of Alternative Routes to Teacher Certification. William Edward Sibufu, Doctor of Education. Understanding how African international students make meaning of their experiences in the U.S. universities. Dawn Marie St. Germain, Doctor of Education. Elementary Educator Job Satisfaction in the Age of Accountability. Lucy M. Stamp, Doctor of Education. Neurodivergent Learners Career Identity Development, a narrative study investigating the lived experiences of a cohort of young adult learners. Morgan Ann Stevens, Doctor of Education, Teacher Experiences with Technology Initiatives and Understandings. Bruce J. Stewart, Doctor of Law and Policy, The Relationship Between the New Inclusion Quotient, or IQ Index, and the Twin Challenges of Problematic Behaviors and underrepresentation in the federal government. Celicia Angelique Sucra, Doctor of Education. Black students making sense of the flipped learning method in an urban high school. An interpretive phenomenological analysis. Jean Marie Supel, Doctor of Education. Factors promoting early interest and preparation in math and science among undersourced students. Differences between those who are interested in and prepared in third grade and those who are not. Jeffrey A. Taylor, Doctor of Education. Innovative Practices in Leading Technology Change, a narrative research study exploring how school leaders understand change ambivalence on sustaining innovation. Brooke Shinneman Tempesta, Doctor of Education, an exploration of the motivation of health professionals who completed a Master of Bioethics at mid-career. Fantasia Andrea Thorne Ortiz, Doctor of Education, Working Together, a narrative inquiry study exploring ongoing collaborations between college librarians and faculty. Nathan Hedges Storthenson, Doctor of Education. Creativity, a case study of fourth and fifth grade teachers' perceptions. Lisa Jacqueline Thiessen Thomas, Doctor of Education. Leadership succession through succession planning in response to the retirement of presidential leadership. Felicia Soman Tittle, Doctor of Education. Is a fit to be found? Christopher James Torr, Doctor of Education. A quantitative study examining self-regulated learning in undergraduate organic chemistry one students at a private New England-based university. Annie Nguyen Tran, Doctor of Education. Teachers' perspectives on the impact of the middle to high school transition for students with disabilities. Amy Boyne Valenti, Doctor of Education. Back on the career path a qualitative study of employment transitions for women who take a career break and their re-entry experiences. Montana Miguelina Vasquez Grinnell, Doctor of Education. Persistence of Vision. Factors influencing the retention of women of color in STEM programs. Vanessa Veronica Villavicencio, Doctor of Education. Reflective Practice. Exploring Counselor Interns' Reflection in Nonprofit Community Mental Health Setting. Peter Jackson Waja, Doctor of Education. Perspectives of teachers and key educational stakeholders on basic education policy formation processes in Ghana. A qualitative evidence from one district. Jeremy Robert Walter, Doctor of Education. The impact international student diversity has on the academic and social experiences of Chinese international graduate students. A phenomenological study. Samuel Wells, Doctor of Education. Vision Matters, exploring the architecture and role of perceptual frames on the tuition reset decision process at a private, nonprofit U.S. college. Dina O'Hara Whipple, Doctor of Education, Women in Command, the Community College Chief Academic Officer. Michael Robert Williams, Doctor of Education, Hashtag Am I Man Enough? Black Male Masculine Identity Development in the Digital Landscape of Twitter. Tori Odell Wilson, Doctor of Education, Career Calling Among Active Duty Enlisted Military Generation Z Members, A Narrative Analysis, Anna Teresa C. Wise, Doctor of Education, Stress of Intercultural Communication and International Student Participation in Student Organizations, Ego Chiwipi Wurdu, Doctor of Law and Policy, A Qualitative Study of Community Engagement as a Response Model to Sexual and Gender-Based Violence in Camps for Internally Displaced Persons in Northeast Nigeria. Julie Ann Robel-Banfer, Doctor of Education, 
a study of a social justice curriculum for students with special needs in a middle school setting through action research. Emmett Weish III, Doctor of Education, Boys in the Hoods, Redefining the Narratives of Black Male Doctoral Degree Completers. Dorinda G. Winter Mitchell L., Doctor of Education, Exploring the Link Between Employer-Employee Relationships and Employee Productivity. Haida Marie Viepma, Doctor of Education, Eliminating Gender Inequity, Why Women Choose Computer Science. Jong Suk Yun, Doctor of Education, Strategic Learners with Korean Pop Culture. Christoph Zava, Doctor of Education, What Is It Like to Be a Pathway Student? Voices of Undergraduate International Students at a Large Public University in New England. Cressa Lynn Zajak, Doctor of Education. Outstanding First-Year Teacher Perceptions. Barbara Renee Zurlo, Doctor of Education. LGBTQ College Student Experiences, Choosing to Disclose or Not Disclose Sexual Orientation or Gender Identity to College Faculty, Staff, and Peers. Kan Zhao, Doctor of Education. Empowering Learner Leaders, a case of student-led experiential learning in an anatomy class. Amanda Lynn Tatro, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Lumbar Multifida Strengthening Exercises as a Treatment for Nonspecific Low Back Pain and Prevention of Recurrence. Louise Ann Wall, Doctor of Physical Therapy. High Fidelity Patient Simulation, ICU Early Mobility and Teamwork. Kelly Schaefer Jenkins, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Increasing core strength in youth baseball pitchers to decrease the incidence of Tommy John surgeries. Beth Ann Hayes, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Plantar fasciitis with a differential diagnosis, a case report of Bexter's nerve entrapment. Meredith M. Stevens, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Promoting continued participation in a community-based group exercise and fall prevention program. An integrated literature review. Kim Kelby Sia Tan. Doctor of Physical Therapy. Associated functional gains after selective percutaneous myofascial lengthening and physical therapy intervention in a child with spastic cerebral palsy. A single case study report. Rachel Ronnie George, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Is walking 10,000 steps per day a productive fitness goal? A scoping literature review. Kevin G. Cummings, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Validity of lateral femoral epicondyle height for measuring knee loss of extension, a pilot study. Divan Augustin, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Effectiveness of intratissue precutaneous electrolysis treatment in patients who have tendinopathy. Dara N. Patel, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Effectiveness of visual and proprioceptive feedback as an adjunct in gait training post-stroke, a case study. Shravani Valuru, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Pulmonary function changes due to trunk impairment in stroke patient. A case study. Monsi Ankit Kahedakar, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Utilizing a team approach in the diagnosis and management of lumbar synovial cyst. Case report. Yoam Yakov Segal, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Integrating mindfulness practice into physical therapy intervention. A case study. Timothy Gerard Kern, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Overhand throwing mechanics adapted by scapular stabilization exercises and visual feedback in the adolescent baseball player. A case report. Andreas Prokopiu, Doctor of Physical Therapy. The effect of mindfulness on chronic musculoskeletal pain. Suzanne Stengel Bonn, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Applying the brakes. Parent perspectives of how LSVT BIG helps slow motor decline in Parkinson's disease. Prina Navadia, Doctor of Physical Therapy. An impact of ergonomics education on low back pain in working adults. Catherine Ann Trainer, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Balance and gait training in a patient with meningioma-induced hydrocephalus. A case report. Adeyeme James Adedeji, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Aging with disability. Falls, cerebral palsy, and quality of life. Kristen Busa, Doctor of Physical Therapy. The Effects of Pain Neuroscience Education on Chronic Spinal Pain. Shin Yi Tanya Leo, Doctor of Physical Therapy. The Effect of Cycling Exercise on Motor Functions and Fitness in Adults with Down Syndrome. Srivali Chakuri, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Case Report on Failed Interventions for Chronic Pain of Post-Operative Knee, 
following a total knee replacement in a 64-year-old female. Marina Reese, Marino Nogueira, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Use of sensory augmentation in patients with vestibular disorders. Diane Santos Latane, Doctor of Physical Therapy. The use of weighted ball training in female softball pitchers. Brian Anthony Herrera, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Impact of the payment-centered model on patients undergoing lower limb anthroplasty. Janet Linner Hurt, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Is there a clinical method to quantify hyptonia? A physical therapy perspective. Lisa Marie Nezwaski, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Diagraphmatic breathing and anxiety in school teachers and staff. Diane M. Stabita Kingman, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Case Report. Improvements in balance and decreased fall risk in patients with diabetic peripheral neuropathy. Hi, my name is Joseph Griffin, the Interim Associate Dean for the Graduate School of Education. When I think of your accomplishments in reaching this achievement, I feel such hope and pride. This event is a recognition of the hard work, sacrifice, and dedication that each of you has exhibited in recent years. Your families and friends with you all dedicated the last few years to this accomplishment, to today's milestone. Each of you represent the promise Northeastern, use, Northeastern makes to the world to make change agents. The power of your work is best understood when we have moments like today, moments where we adapt and thrive in times like these, when we raise our focus to meet the grand challenges set before us. Each of you represents a point of hope in an ever-changing landscape. We are part of a powerful knowledge network, and this shared experience and construction of understanding is what will bring us to bring to fruition our dreams of a more just and equitable society. Thank you. And now I'd like to turn it over to Dean Luffelholtz. In closing, I want to thank our newest doctors for sharing your stories and reflections with us. We know that the students in our doctoral programs are seasoned professionals whose work and research shapes education, physical therapy, and public policy. We know that your skills and knowledge are in demand right now, perhaps more so than ever before as our school districts, our medical system, our colleges and universities, our cities, states, and organizations work to save lives and preserve the fabric of our communities. We know that you're doing this vital work with the same dedication that you pursued your doctoral education, while at the same time taking care of family, friends, loved ones, and others who depend on you. Please know that the faculty and staff of Northeastern's College of Professional Studies are deeply honored that you took time during all the demands of this public health crisis to reflect on the meaning of your time with us. We look forward to seeing you on campus for your doctoral hooding and graduation ceremony. Until then, we wish you and yours the very best of health and happiness. Thank you.